It is currently New Year's Eve. Um, so it's one week since Christmas and we've had time to kind of sit with our Christmas gifts for a week and see if we like them, uh, see what we think of them after using them for the week. So I thought today would be a good day, a week after Christmas, to kind of show you some of the favorite things that we got for Christmas. So what was our some of our favorite gifts that we've been using and we're really enjoying and we wanna share with you. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the stuff that my son got, a um, couple of things that my husband got, as well as a few things that I got. Uh, I'm not going to show you everything that we got. Again, I'm just going to show you things that have kind of stood out to us or that we're enjoying um, that we really liked. Uh, and then I'm probably going to take you downstairs because some of the gifts that I got are actually in use downstairs in the kitchen. Again, this is like a week after Christmas. So these things are out of boxes and have been used for a week. So I think I'm going to start actually with my son's stuff. Um, again, I'm not going to show you everything I got him, but I will show you some things that I got him uh, or that other people got him. So one of the first things that I got him, um, and these were stocking stuffers, were some of these art markers. Um, I got these at Five Below. Now, we don't have Five Below in Canada. They're only in the States. Um, but my friend and I were in the States in November. So I was able to go into Five Below and pick these up. These were only $5 for a package of these artist markers. If you have a kid that's into art, like my son is, he takes art lessons, he loves to draw, he loves to cartoon. Um, these are fantastic markers. They actually have two tips on them. There's like a flat tip and then a tip that almost looks a little bit like a paintbrush. Um, it's really good for coloring in like uh, comic or cartoon characters that they're drawing. Um, and these can be really pricey. So if you get them at an art store like Michael's or even a smaller art store, you're going to pay, you know, $30 for a package of these markers. So I was able to get these for $5, which I thought was um, a really good price. And I threw those in his stocking and I know he'll get some use out of those. And then to go with that... I got him this sketchbook. I just got this at Dollarama and it was $4 at Dollarama. I really liked it because it is an actual book, like it's a hard cover. Um, so that will protect his art. Um, there's quite a few pages in it, um, as you can see. Um, and he goes through these a lot. And I just really like this one because it didn't have a spiral on the side um, where I find sometimes the ones with the spiral on the side, the pages will rip out. Um, so this will keep his, his artwork nice and safe. And he can use the markers on that. This was another stocking stuffer that I got. These were from Dollarama. Uh, and it was just a bunch of these gel pens. So some of them are sparkly. Some of them are colored. So again, if he just wants to sign things, sign pieces of art, or do kind of uh, neat things with the pens, he has those as well. And I want to say that those, were, yeah, they were $4.00. At Dollarama. Um, next up for my son, this was also from Five Below. It's just a little light. I don't know if you can see when it's lit up. I'll turn it off. It's just a little battery operated light. Um, my son is big into gaming, as I'm sure if you have a teenage son or a preteen son, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They love their video games. He loves Mario. Um, I spotted these at five below for five bucks. They're just battery operated and they had all different ones. They had like the star and the mushroom. I didn't know what one to get. I ended up getting this one. I think it's a fire flower or so. I don't know what it's called, but it's from Mario. Um, and you just light it up and it can sit in their room. If you have a, a younger child, this would actually be a really cute nightlight. You could even get a couple of them and have them as a little nightlight for them. He doesn't obviously need it as a nightlight, but he just likes it for a little bit of decorative touch in his room. So there was that, five below, five bucks. I also got him uh, this speaker. So the brand is Ryanock. I don't know if you can see that. Ryanock. Um, I got this on Amazon and it was about 30 bucks. As you can see, it lights up when you turn it on. It is a Bluetooth speaker, but it also has an auxiliary cord and it is water resistant. So it's waterproof. 
so he could take it by the a pool or whatever take it outside and not worry about it getting wet he can bring it into the the bathroom when he's taking a shower not worry about and get any water getting on it um so yeah I thought that was kind of neat and he's been using it and the sound is pretty good so he actually has it uh, connected to his phone and he's just been playing music on it upstairs and he's enjoying it so far and that was about thirty dollars on Amazon and again it's a Ryanock I believe that's what it's called Ryanock okay so that was a good purchase he's enjoying it he got this I didn't get him this this was something that my aunt got him but it's for his Nintendo switch and it's a Kirby game controller I think he finds these game controllers easier to use than the the ones that slide into the side I'm sorry I can't, joy cons those things you know that slide into either side of the Nintendo switch I think he finds this easier and he finds that the joy cons can sometimes um, wear out pretty quickly and um, and then they they get I don't know a little bit glitchy so he prefers this um, so he got this one because he thought it was super cute Kirby he asked for that and uh, he seems to be enjoying it and I think I want to say she ordered this online these are also about $30 $29.99 or so for that they're not wireless um, you do have to have the wire to hook into the, uh, the system okay so these were some of his very favorite gifts he's super into video games um, video games are, are pretty much life right now um, and these were kind of the top things on his list and he's been playing them for the last week and he's really enjoying them. So the first game he got was God of War. That was on his list. I ordered this on Amazon. This was super pricey. It was $90. I think it came, it was like a hundred bucks with tax. Um, but he's really enjoying that game. God of War, I don't know anything about it. I think it's Vikings and Thor and stuff like that. I know there's another one. This is the second one. I think it's a super popular game and he's really enjoying that. It is rated mature uh, and it's because of blood and gore, intense violence, and some strong language. So if you don't want your kid uh, playing a violent game, then maybe this isn't the one. Um, I let him get it. Uh, I am I am choosy about the games that we get. I don't let him just get anything. This one I did take a look at. It looked okay to me. Um, he is 14, so I allowed him to get it. But it is rated mature, just so you know. Uh, next one he got, this was for my brother. It was a Pokemon Violet. So this is the brand new Pokemon game for the Nintendo Switch. I want to say this was $80. Um, video games are very, very pricey. Uh, he, he was wanting this one quite a bit and I know that there were two versions of it. So there was the red version. So there was Pokemon, I think red and then Pokemon violet. And I think the only difference between the two and correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't really know a lot about these video games, but I believe it's like you get different characters in the red version than you do in the violet version. I think it's just pretty much a way for them to get you to buy both versions um, but he wanted this one, the violet version. I know a lot of his friends were getting this as well. Um, so he must like the characters that are on this version, but so far this is a hit. He's enjoying this game. Next one he got was the Nintendo switch sports. Um, this was about, I want to say $60. My mom got him this game and this has been a hoot. He's really been enjoying this. Him and my husband have been playing this together. So that's great. It's something active. They can get up, they can play it together. So there's like golf and tennis. And um, I think I saw fencing and bowling, soccer, volleyball. My husband got so into it, uh, into the volleyball game that he actually like fell play, diving for the ball. And my son had to remind him that it wasn't a real volleyball game and, and he didn't really need to dive for the ball. Um, but that's how into it they got and they played this for a long time one day to the point where the both of them were actually sore the next day their arms were sore so if you're looking for a game that's kind of good for the entire family um, that will give them some exercise get them up on their feet this Nintendo Switch Sports is good I think it's kind of the same game as the Wii Sports 
I mean, we're from way back, the Wii Sports game, um, but they've redone it for the Nintendo Switch. So that was $60. Last game he got, which was again from my mom, um, was Splatoon 3. So I believe this is like an online game. So it's kind of like a paintball game. Um, and I believe that you play it online with other people, I think. Uh, so he's been playing this. I want to say he's been playing this with friends online because I've been, I've been hearing them playing together online. Um, so it's like a shooter game, but it's more cartoony and it's paintball. Um, this is another expensive game. So this was $80, uh, plus tax for this game, but it's a hit. He likes it again. It's for the Nintendo switch. Um, something else I got him that I thought was kind of neat. Um, was this Funko Pop set and it is you can see it's Metallica and it's the Master of Puppets tour from 1986 so my son does like Funko Pops he has quite a few and I find with teenagers they ask for a lot of things they have this long and detailed list of things that they want but then they end up knowing everything that they're gonna get so Everything they open up under the tree was on their list. They're expecting it or uh, they're not surprised. So I always like to try to get one thing that's kind of a surprise, something that he didn't ask for. Um, and this one was that gift this year. I thought this was super cool. He has been getting into music quite a bit. He likes all different genres of music. But I have heard him listening to some Metallica recently. And I think the show Stranger Things got him into Metallica a little bit more um, with Eddie and the, the Master of Puppets song that he plays in the show. So it got him listening to Metallica and I thought this was super cool and I loved how it came in the collector's case. So you can see it's all enclosed in the case so he can just keep this in his room and put it on display. Um, this was about $60 Canadian. I did buy it in the States so back in November, like I said, I was in the States with my friend and we saw this in Walmart in the States and I picked it up from, it was about $50 there, I want to say. Um, and I hadn't seen it in Canada, but then a couple of weeks later, I was in Walmart at home and I saw it for about $60 at Walmart, uh, the Walmart in Canada. Um, and they had... U2, they had ACDC, they had Run DMC, and they had Metallica. Um, when I went I was back in Walmart a couple of days later, all of the Metallicas were gone. And the last time I was in Walmart, they only had a couple of the Run DMC ones left. So these were a Walmart exclusive, um, and they were clearly pretty popular for Christmas. Um, so unless you want Run DMC, I think it might be hard to find uh, Metallica or any of the other bands. But Run DMC is cool. I like Run DMC. Um, let's show you a couple of the things that my husband got that he really liked. This first one is a model car set. So my husband is super into cars. He loves Formula One racing. He loves any like luxury or exotic cars. He watches a lot of car videos on YouTube. He's just super into cars. I think his dream is to own some kind of fancy car. Okay, when he gets older and retires. I don't know if that dream's ever gonna come true, um, but until then he can play with model cars. So my mom actually picked this up for him. This one is the Corvette. I think she got him another one that was um, a red Lamborghini. Um, and this one is Easy Snap. So she got it at kind of a little hobby shop, toy and hobby shop in the town where we live. I'm sorry, but I don't know how much it was. Um, but this one was an easy snap one. So this is kind of for beginner model builders. The brand, let me see if I, oh, it's Revell. Okay, Revell, I don't know if you can see that brand name there showing the reflection of the phone in the box. Um, but this was an easy snap. So he really enjoyed this one. It was really easy for him to put together. And I think it's really just a stress relief thing. So I like doing things like puzzles. I like doing Lego sets because it just kind of keeps my mind busy. Um, it gives me time to sit and relax and get something done that is just enjoyable. Um, and that's what this is for him. So we actually did sit a couple of days ago and finish this car. 
and it looked pretty neat. He started the second one, which was a Lamborghini, and that one is not an easy set. It's kind of the next level up of model cars, and you have to paint it and everything, and he's finding that one uh, much trickier. It's harder for him to see um, the little pieces and how they go together, but this one he found easy and enjoyable and stress-free, so I would highly recommend this one by Revel. Again, I don't know what the price was, but uh, if you have a car lover in your life, I, I recommend this. Um, another thing he got, which was probably his favorite gift, I got this for him, and I picked it up at Marshall's, and it's a little record player. And I, I'm having trouble remembering, I can't remember what the name of the record player is. I know it starts with a C. I know, it starts with a C. Um, Crosley, that's it, it's Crosley. Okay, so this is a little Crosley record player. Um, he said it actually reminded him of his childhood record player because it has like the little handle and it comes in the little kit. Um, and you can just carry it around wherever you want. So I thought that would be good. He could just carry it downstairs to the basement if he's working on something down there, um, carry it outside to the garage or even just around the house wherever he may, might be. So, oh, there's a name right there, Crosley. So this is the record player. Um, and it's been a lot of fun. So I did get him a couple of records to go with it. Well, I got him one and my mom got him one. He got an Alice in Chains record and I got him a Led Zeppelin record. We did realize that records are very expensive. If you didn't know that, they are. I think I spent $40 on the Led Zeppelin record, um, but it was two albums. And my mom spent easily $30 on the Alice in Chains record. Um, so he does have those two records to listen to, but he also has a bunch of records that have been kind of collecting dust in the basement. He took them from my grandparents' house when they moved. Um, they were just going to throw them out. I think they were my uncle's old records. And he said, that would be a shame to throw out these records. Can I keep them? They said, absolutely. So he took the records and he's had them sitting down in our basement for years. And he's had no way of listening to them. So there's like Beatles records and Rolling Stones and Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd and just any band you can think of. So he's been having a really great time listening to the records on this Crosley record player. The sound is pretty typical of a record player. It sounds like a record. It does not sound like digital music. Um, we're used to that sound now. It doesn't sound that way, um, but it's kind of cool and, and you get used to it. You get used to the sound again as you start listening more and more. It does have a built-in speaker in the record player, but it can also connect uh, through Bluetooth to other speakers. So you could connect it to a stereo and play it or to that speaker that I got, the little, the little one I got for my son. Um, you could connect it to that and it would sound louder. Okay. I don't think it would sound better because it is a record, um, but it will at least sound louder. You could get more volume out of it and it just plugs into the wall just with this little plug. Sad story. <laughs> I bought him this. He loved it. Um, and he was listening to it one day while he was working on one of his model cars and he had it in the kitchen and it was sitting on the counter and it was plugged in and I started to clean out a cabinet, this cabinet that just had so much junk in it. And I started to clean it out and the record player was underneath and I thought, oh, I, sh I, I had a thought I should move that. Um, but it was plugged in and I thought, well, I don't know where I'd move it to. And so I thought, I'll just be careful. I won't drop anything on the record player. Well, I think I cursed myself when I thought that because then of course I dropped something on the record player. Um, and then my husband panicked and he went to grab the record and pulled the record and it scratched and I actually broke the needle on the record. So he was sad because he said, um, or on the record player, he said, um, well, that was short lived, but I, I figured out that it was an easy fix and I ordered some new needles. You can just clip a new needle right onto here. So I ordered a two pack of the needles. They already arrived. So we'll put that on there and then he'll be listening to his records again. So short, short story long, um, when you have a thought that maybe I should move something or maybe I shouldn't do this, listen to your thought because it's trying to tell you something. Okay. So my gifts, what did I get? Like I said, some of my gifts are downstairs and they're already being used in the kitchen. So I will bring you down there um, in a minute, but let's just show you some things here first that I got. So similar to my husband's model car set, um, 
I got this Disney Lego set. It is a miniature version of the Disney castle. I know my mom bought this when we were in Florida because I had spotted it at the Lego store in Disney Springs and I've never seen it since. So I'm assuming she, that's when she picked it up. I can't remember how much this was. I want to say $40. I want to say $40. It is 567 pieces. I know there's a giant castle that's like $300 or more. Um, I honestly, I don't know where I would put a giant castle like that. So this is big enough for me. Um, I, already, I don't even know where I'm going to put this. So um, this is definitely big enough. It's going to take up enough room in my house. I really love Lego. My son was a big Lego fan throughout his childhood. Well, he's still a kid, but throughout his younger childhood, his younger years, um, he would always ask for Lego sets. And so I would build them with them, him and I realized how much I liked it. I just found it really relaxing and I liked sort of accomplishing something and creating something, building something. Um, so I have gotten a couple of my own Lego sets and now this is one of them. If anyone who knows me knows um, I'm a Disney fan, I especially a Disney parks fan. I go to the parks every year, love them, obsessed. Some people call me Disney Dawn. Um, so my mom knew this would be right up my alley to have the castle and the little Mickey. Look how cute the Mickey is. So I'm gonna have fun building that. I'm definitely, um, I'm still off on holidays right now, so I'm gonna build that. And I might actually film a little bit of the building and then show you, you guys how it turns out. Okay, so there's that. Next thing I got um, was this Kat Von D, I don't know if you can see it, um, tattoo eye, uh, eyeliner, it's a liquid liner. I really like this liner. I find that it goes on really well. Um, you can get really good precision with the tip. And I think that if you're wanting to try liquid liner, this is probably a good one to start with because it's pretty easy to use. And this is a small one. You can't get a larger one, but you can get usually this small one in Sephora kind of near the cash. I want to say it's $18, um, but my husband got it, so I don't really remember. Um, but I use this one all the time. I love this one. So that was something I got. Um, I also got this Too Faced, I don't know if you can see, um, lip injection, lip balm, or lip gloss. Uh, so if you use it, it makes your lips really tingly. And then it kind of, I don't know, puffs up your lips a little bit. The verdict is still out on it. Definitely tingles. Um, I think it puffs up my lips a little bit more. Um, but it doesn't last that long. Um, I don't know. I'm getting older. I don't really want to do things. I know a lot of women are doing like the lip fillers and everything. I feel like I'm one of those people where if I did a lip filler or I filled my face with anything, I would have an allergic reaction to it and then like be deformed. <laughs> so I just figured I'll try that. That might fill up my, my, <laughs> my pout a little bit. Um, and the verdict is still out. I don't mind it. It's good. Um, would I buy it again? I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I would. It was quite, it was about $30. So I don't know if I would spend $30 on it again, but it's okay. I also got this Too Faced uh, Plump and Prime. Sorry, there's a bit of a glare. Um, and this is just a primer to put under your makeup, but it also is a plumping serum. Same idea. I don't want to put things into my face. It's just something I'm nervous about. So I'm going to try this. Again, verdict is still out. It's a nice primer. It, it definitely works well as a primer under your foundation. So I can't complain about that. Does it plump your face up enough? I don't know. I mean, I guess it works well enough uh, as a like product would. Do you know what I mean? Like it's it's not a miracle. It's It works well enough. And just like the gloss, it works as well as you would think a lip gloss, a plumping lip gloss would work, um, which is not a miracle, but they're okay. Would I buy them again? I don't really know. I also got these two plumping products. And um, the reason I got them is that I had asked for that Too Faced Plump and Primer. And it was expensive. I think, I want to say it was 50 something for the bottle, which was ridiculous. And then I saw these at Walmart and it was like 25 for the set. And it's NYX Plump Right Back. And then this one is, I don't know if you can see it there. 
the camera doesn't want to focus on it, but it's plump finish. It's like a finishing spray. So you put it on after your makeup and it was 25 for the set. So I brought that home and I said to my husband, well, maybe just don't get me the other one. Um, just give me these because they are, these are much cheaper and I'll try that. But I didn't know he'd already ordered the other one. So he gave me both. He, do you ever do that where you buy things for yourself and then you give it to your husband to give to you because you know that if you don't, you may not get the things that you want. Sometimes I have to do that. He's good. Every now and then he surprises me with a really nice gift that I wasn't expecting. Um, but I do usually get a few things to give to him. Just makes it easier. Um, so I'm not really noticing much of a difference. I tried both and I, I think they're both good. Honestly, I'd go for this if you want to try a primer. It's a plumping primer. Do this for 25 bucks for the, for the set rather than doing this Too Faced one for $60. So I like them. Um, I don't love them. I don't think I would buy them again, but they do work as a primer. They do work well as a primer. I also got this um, hot cocoa and cream candle. I love, love, love the hot cocoa and cream candle. My son got me this. Um, smells delish and you can't get it now I looked on the website but they're all gone so really these ones the hot cocoa and cream or sometimes the peppermint hot chocolate those kind of ones you have to get them right away when you see them or they're gone I mean maybe there are in some stores but I just I, I haven't really been out shopping but online I didn't see it and this I showed in my last shopping haul um, but it, I am considering it a Christmas gift because I did get a gift certificate from, for Winners from my in-laws and I went into Winners and I bought this with, with that gift card. So this was $60. It's by Foxy Bay. Is that upside down? I don't know. Anyway, Foxy Bay. Um, and it just turns on like this and it's a, a blowout brush. So it's just like a little round brush with the blow dryer. It works quite well. I used it today. It works pretty well. I, I'm I'm pleased with it. I've used these in the past. I've used a Revlon one and I don't really like it. It didn't work very well on my hair. But this one seems to be working well. And that was $60. And again, I got that at Winners. You, you could probably buy it online, but Winners or Marshall seems to carry this brand. So if you want to get it, that's where you can get it. So, oh, no, wait, one more thing. Um, I'm wearing this because I did buy this for myself during the week before Christmas. You know how you're out shopping for things and then you spot things that you just can't resist. I got this at Costco. This is a lazy pants sweatsuit. So they had three colors. They had like a creamy beigey color. Um, they had this black and gray tie dyed one. And then they also had a pink and white tie dyed one. And I did get the pants as well, the matching pants. And they were, it was a really good deal. I think I want to say it was $45 together for both pieces, something like that, 40 to $45. So that's not bad. I usually ask for like something roots at Christmas, a roots sweatshirt or sweatpants because they're cozy and comfy. Um, but I found, I didn't ask for that this year and I found this um, and I've been wearing it all the time. It's so cozy and I did buy it in a large because I just wanted it to be roomy. When I have stuff like this, I don't, I don't want it fitted. I wanted it to be baggy and roomy. And I really like the pink one too. And I'm almost tempted to pick up the pink and white one when I go back to Costco. We'll see, I don't need it, um, but it's tempting at that price. And Lazy Pants is a pretty good product. I have other stuff from Lazy Pants and I, I really enjoy it. And every now and then you can find it in Costco for 22 bucks a piece. Um, which is a really good deal. So at this point, I'm going to take you down to the kitchen for the last couple of items on my list um, because they're in my kitchen and they're being used and I don't want to unplug them and bring them up here. So let's go down to the kitchen and look at my last couple of items. Okay, so I'm down in the kitchen now to show you my last three favorite gifts. This one I just love. Like I said, I'm a Disney fan. My mom got this for me at Costco. I want to say it was like $130 to begin with at Costco. And then it went down to $89.99. And it's funny because a couple of days before Christmas, I had said to my mom, I was in Costco and I saw that the Disney train went down to 89 dollars 
but I still didn't get it because I, I still didn't want to pay that much for it. Well, she played dumb, played like I, she didn't know what I was talking about, but she already had the train for me and she had got it at $89.99. She got the last one. This was the di display. Um, so she didn't have a box or anything. So they gave her, I think, another $20 off. My knife set was in really bad condition. Just the handles were kind of falling apart. I'd had it for years. So I decided to get a new one. I asked my husband to get it. Um, so he chose this one. It's got a wide variety of knives in it. It doesn't have as many knives as my last knife set, but I did keep a couple of the old knives that were in pretty good condition. Um, and, and I like this one. This one's, uh, it's pretty good so far. It has some steak knives and butcher knives, serrated knives. It's got a sharpener, some scissors, um, and it doesn't take up as much room as my last knife block, which took up a ton of room on my counter. So I like that. And again, it's from Farberware. And this is my last and probably my most favorite gift that I got this holiday season. My mom got this for me. It's the Hamilton Beach Flex Brew Coffee Maker. I really like this coffee maker. Our, our coffee maker was kind of falling apart. Um, wasn't working too well by the end. So this one is really unique because you can make coffee three different ways with it. So you can brew a pot of coffee if you want, and you can also make a single cup, but you can make the single cup using either the K-cup pods. So if I open it up, I'll show you. You could just put the K-cup pod right into here, um, or you can use your grounds and you can put your grounds right into this little cup and you can make a single cup out of the grounds as well. So I really like that option because there's some grounds that I really like and I just want a, a single cup. And so now I have the ability to do that. You can also set a timer for your coffee in the morning if you want. Uh, yeah, overall really great. And my mom got this on Black Friday for I think $100 on sale. I'm not sure what the, the price is regularly, but it's pretty reasonably priced for a coffee maker that does three things in one. So highly recommend the Hamilton Beach Flex Brew Coffee Maker. That was our favorite gifts from Christmas 2022. I hope that you and your family had an amazing holiday. Um, I know we did, it's been nice and restful. We've been enjoying ourselves and I hope you have a happy new year. It's New Year's Eve tonight. So I hope you have fun and I hope you have a great new year and I'll see you in the new year. <music>